What's up guys, my name is Devin, also known as FBE, and welcome back to another episode of Footballers. In today's video, we're going to be continuing our What Players Wear on the Field series, and today's feature athlete is going to be Jay Jettas, Justin Jefferson, superstar wide receiver for the Minnesota Vikings. So obviously Justin Jefferson has tons of swag and you guys have been demanding we do a Justin Jefferson video. So here it is. So of course, Jay Jettis is one of the swaggiest players in the entire NFL, hands down, no doubt about it. But the main reason that we are featuring him in today's video is because you guys have been demanding, requesting him for a very long time. And if there's anybody you guys want to see featured in the next episode, comment them below right now and we might pick one. In case you guys are new to the What Players Wear on the Field series, here's a quick little breakdown about what we do. We take a player, for this one it's going to be Jay Jettas, and we talk about their gear, head to toe, helmets, cleats, visors, gloves, pads, you name it, we're going to talk about it in this video. I'm going to give you guys as much information about the products as I can. I'm going to tell you guys what the product is, why the players wear it, and where you guys can purchase it for yourself. So without further ado, let's kick things off with Justin Jefferson's helmet. Jay Jettis is one of the many NFL wide receivers to be wearing the Shut F7 football helmet. During Jefferson's sophomore year at LSU, he wore the Riddell Speed Flex before his junior and final season at LSU, he made the switch to the F7. So obviously, I don't know why he did make the switch from the Speed Flex to the F7, but my guess is that is because the F7 is a little bit lighter than the Speed Flex, and the Speed Flex is kind of a heavier helmet. So, in case you guys did not know, the Shut F7 is my personal favorite helmet on the market for a couple reasons. First of all, I love the looks. I think Shut helmets look so nice, and this is definitely um, one of my favorite. And second of all, it's one of the safest helmets on the market. This helmet scores a perfect 5 out of 5 on the Virginia Tech helmet rating scale. It's super comfortable, and like I said, it looks incredible. So what makes the F7 a little bit different from some of the other helmets on the market are these weird plates that you guys see on the top of the helmet. These are Shut's tectonic plates and they move independently from the rest of the shell to disperse rotational force. So obviously Justin Jefferson is a wide receiver and being a wide receiver, you gotta make a lot of catches over the middle and you get hit from those blind side, side of the helmet shots and these plates are gonna help disperse that impact and protect your head. So like I said, the Shut F7 is hands down my favorite helmet on the market. Justin Jefferson has been wearing it for three years now. Um, if you guys want to get your own, you can get one from Green Gridiron for $430. It will be linked below. Also, just something to keep in mind as you guys watch this video, every single product we talk about will be linked below in the description so you guys can shop Justin Jefferson's locker right there in the description. All right, guys, now it's time to talk about some of Justin Jefferson's visors. We're going to kick things off with this Oakley Clear Prism visor. So when it comes to game time, Justin Jefferson is wearing this visor right here, which is going to be the Oakley Clear Prism visor. You guys can tell that it is the clear prism because it has that slight pinkish tint, which is the prism lens. This prism lens technology helps you guys see the game a little bit clearer and also deflects that harsh sun. In case you guys did not know, Oakley became the official optics provider of the NFL in 2019. So that's why you guys see so many Oakley visors on the field. If you guys are interested, you guys can get the Oakley clear prism visor from Green Gridiron for $70. Now the next visor we're going to talk about is one that Jay Jettis brings out for pregame, something a little bit flashier, and that's going to be the Oakley black prism visor. So like I mentioned in some of the past videos we've done, it's kind of tough to decipher specific visor tints, but I'm pretty sure this is the black prism. This visor has the exact same prism technology that I just talked about with the pinkish visor. Um, it just kind of helps you see the game a little bit clearer and it looks really cool. This black prism visor is dark, reflective, helps keep out the sun and looks sick. You guys can shop the Oakley black prism visor from Green Gridiron for $90. It will be linked in the description. So now the next thing we're going to talk about is something I wouldn't really consider equipment, um, but it's something you have to include in his game day setup, and that's going to be Justin Jefferson's grill. So this is a crazy custom one-of-one -one grill built for Jay Jettas by Leo Frost. This grill is super flashy. I'm not sure how safe it is for Justin Jefferson to wear this in the game, but it looks so dope nonetheless. Also, something cool about this grill is it kind of matches a pair of cleats that we're going to talk about later in this video, so stay tuned for those cleats. Now, as we continue to make our way down through Justin Jefferson's gear, it's time to talk about his shoulder pads, and Justin Jefferson is wearing the X-Tech X2 shoulder pads and backplate. X-Tech is probably the most common shoulder pad in the NFL, and it's also one of the best. These shoulder pads are super low profile, super light, and super customizable, so you can get the perfect fit that feels perfect for you. Justin Jefferson also wears X-Tech's five-sided vented backplate to protect his lower back. So if you guys are interested in getting these shoulder pads and the backplate, the shoulder pads are 525 and the backplate's going to be 75 So that is about $600 for Justin Jefferson's setup, but that's before any of the custom stuff he might have had done to them. So now it's time to talk about a arm sleeve that Justin Jefferson has worn for most of this season, and that is going to be the McDavid padded arm sleeve. So like I said, Justin Jefferson has only worn this for some games this year. Some games he wears one without a pad, which just looks like some regular unbranded Nike arm sleeve. But most of the time, he's in a McDavid padded arm sleeve. So I'm not sure if Jay Jettis wears this 
this sleeve strictly for the swag or if he wears it to actually protect himself. Um, but these sleeves are a great way to protect against turf burn and those bumps and bruises that you guys get on your elbow playing football. Justin Jefferson has worn this sleeve in black, white, and purple throughout this past season. If you guys are interested in the McDavid padded arm sleeve, East Bay does have one for $25, so check them out. Link will be in the description. So now it's time to talk about one of the most important pieces of equipment for a wide receiver, and that's going to be his gloves. Throughout this season, Justin Jefferson has worn two different models of the Under Armour Spotlight football gloves. So the first pair he wears, he usually wears it in all white, and this is an older Spotlight model. I want to say like a 2017-ish, maybe 2018. I'm not 100% sure. Um, my Under Armour knowledge is a little bit spotty, but either way, that's what he's been rocking for some games this season. Justin Jefferson is one of the few NFL players to still be signed with Under Armour. This past offseason, Under Armour actually ended their on-field licensing agreement with the NFL, which basically means the Under Armour logo cannot be displayed on the field. So like I said, on the field, the Under Armour logo cannot be shown. It must be covered. So that's why you guys see that oval sticker on the glove on the back of hand. All it's doing is covering that Under Armour logo to adhere to the NFL's policies. So the other pair of Under Armour spotlights that Justin Jefferson has been wearing this year is a newer model. I want to say 2019, uh, 2020. It's definitely a newer spotlight model and he usually wears this in an all black colorway. And again, the Under Armour logo cannot be seen. It has been completely removed from the back of hand on the glove. So overall, Under Armour spotlights are pretty solid receiver gloves. Uh, they're super sticky, super light, and they look pretty good. Um, definitely helping Justin Jefferson make all those catches, score all those touchdowns, and ball out like he has been doing. If you guys are interested in purchasing the Under Armour Spotlight gloves, they're about $50 from Dick's Sporting Goods, linked below. So as we continue to make our way down, it's time to talk about Justin Jefferson's custom Trey Decal thigh pads. So Jay Jettis is one of the many guys in the NFL to begin to wear Trey Decal custom thigh pads. In case you guys are unfamiliar with Trey Decals, what these are is these are custom thigh pads that allow numbers, designs, words to show through your pants on game day. For Justin Jefferson, he has his JJ logo on one and then a little jet on the other. Jay Jet is pretty sick. If you guys are interested in Trey Decals, you guys can go customize your own custom thigh pads or you guys can shop some of their stock options at TreyDecal.com. So finally, we've made it all the way down the cleats and Justin Jefferson is wearing the Under Armour Spotlights. Again, like I said before, Justin Jefferson is one of the few Under Armour athletes left, but these Under Armour cleats cannot have the Under Armour logo showing. The Under Armour Spotlight is UA's mid-level speed cleat. Um, it's super lightweight and super flashy, as you guys can see. So personally, I'm not a huge fan of the Under Armour Spotlight. Um, I think they're way too uncomfortable and way too stiff, and they have a lot of heel blister issues that I've run into. Um, but if you guys want the full review on these cleats, it's somewhere on the channel. Uh, so definitely check it out if you guys haven't already. Well, this season, Jay Jettis has worn the 2019 Spotlight model, the 2020, the suede versions, and then tons of cool customs. I'm just going to quickly talk about some of the customs for you guys. The first pair is this super cool Vikings-themed Christmas pair. You guys can see the Viking and then his number 19 in kind of like a snow theme. These cleats are so sick. He also wore this super flashy black pair that was inspired by his big jet chain and had real Swarovski crystals. These were customs by Mosh275. Check them out on Instagram. These things are flashy, and like I said, they go with the grill that we talked about a little bit earlier. Just a super flashy, super cool pair of cleats. Then he also wore a super colorful pair for My Cause My Cleats, dedicated to the Northside Achievement Zone. Pretty cool pair. And lastly, he's worn them in some of these super simple stock colorways. All yellow and all black, still super clean. When Justin Jefferson goes all black accessories, black cleats, black arm sleeve, black gloves, it's kind of a scary look, all right? You know he's going to find the end zone. So there you guys have it. There's a full equipment breakdown on Jay Jetta's Justin Jefferson. This guy's got tons of cool gear. Um, this was a fun video to make, so thank you guys so much for requesting him. And what I want you guys to do right now is comment again who you guys want to see in the next video. We check these comments. You guys know the drill. Um, so yeah, my name is Devin, also known as FBE, and thanks again for tuning in to another episode of Footballers.